is definitely something we'll work on with a Varric. And we also got to work on something with Solus here, I think. Like, I think there's like a, a giant veil we need to take care of. Uh, one less Venatori on business. One less Venatori. Lies dormant. Solus has located a powerful. Okay, yep. Boom. Boom. We'll talk to Eric here in a bit. Change party. Yes. Oh, huh, okay. Yes, and yes. Oh, God. We got three mages in the party. Oh, this is. Oh, this ought to be good. This ought to be fantastic. Yeah, this ought to be fan freaking tastic. Oh God, I am starting to get tired of this keyboard now it is starting to die on not happy about it. oh I guess we don't go that way I suppose two ranged characters wouldn't hurt. So, okay. We'll try it out. I mean, after all, Bull and I can literally just take on this whole. Bull and I, Bull and I can take on that rift on ourselves. Yeah! <laughs> the two Kanari facing off a horde. Ugh. Let's see what we got. God, it's dark in here. Give me one of those guys. I don't want to actually... Don't want to... Level 19, okay.
one. All right, well. I can't see where I'm going. Ah. Give me the light. Thank you very much. Oh, that does not give off very much light. Oh, bullets. Well. I guess. All right, well. World map. Back to Skyhold. We just got to... Talk with uh, Solus. Got to talk with Varric, and we should be good to go. All right. Oh my. Okay. I think I'm gonna o order a new keyboard. I'm glad to have answers, but shit. The second she showed up here, I knew. I just, I let this mess happen. I gave her the tag. I am not good at dealing with shit like this. Just confront it. Quit being evasive. Tackle it head on. Sure. You know, it took me three years to work up the nerve to confront my brother for trying to kill me. And even then, I couldn't make myself do it without somebody to stand there and hold my hand. If Cassandra hadn't dragged me here, I'd be in Kirkwall right now pretending none of this was happening. No? Wouldn't. You know that's not true. You've worked as hard as any of us to stop Corypheus. Is that true? I don't even know anymore. Thank you for your help back there. After all this, do you think you'll see Bianca again? I always do. All right. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. You're just in time. We almost had to start without you. Yes, that would be bad. We couldn't have that, could we? Wait. Oh, is this the Wicked Grace scene? Oh, here we go. I found her, Ruffles. Deal her in. I do hope I recall the rules. It's been ages since I've played a game of Wicked Grace. Grab a seat. We're ready to start. Are we playing cards or what? There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. Don't talk to the face cards, kid. You seem to have enough people. I have a thousand things to do. Losing money can be both relaxing and habit for me. Give it a try. Curly, if any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. Dinner <laughs> starts. Oh, I believe I'll start at... Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too daring? Maybe I'll make it one. No. Boldness. Three it is. Seriously, who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home? 
Sounds good. I'm in. Bolder the better, right? I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? I'll see that then. I'm in, and raising another silver. <laughs> you haven't even looked at your cards. Well, our illustrious leader is betting we're bluffing. You are bluffing. <laughs> oh. I miss him. The poor recruit ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 Templars all turned to stare at once. Then a slow round of applause began and spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. <laughs> What did he do? Saluted, turned on his heel, and marched out like he was in full armor. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> You're shitting us. <laughs> That's how you know it's true. I could never put that in a book. Too unlikely. <laughs> oh, well, now you tell one, Eric. I think it's our professional storyteller's turn to tell one. I think I can manage that. Did I ever tell you about the time we broke into Chateau Hay? It started, as most capers do, with a trap. And then Hawk looks up and says, Looks like the Duke has fallen from grace. <laughs> That's how Duke Prosper died? You know? That's almost perfect for him. And the dealer takes everything. I win again. Deal again. I figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. Commander, everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then let's see if your good fortune lasts one more hand. <laughs> oh, deal me in too. I want another chance to win my dignity back. Deal me in. <laughs> I tried to warn you, Curly. Never bet against an Antifa, Commander. It comes off. I didn't know it came off. Those are some giant coins. Glad you decided to join us tonight. It's too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. Well, this was fun. I enjoyed this. See? That's hmm, what which I keyboard need. do I have? I it's have easy a. To forget you're not just an icon. A razor chroma. Like those statues of Andraste holding bowls of fire. A at a least it is chroma. for me. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? Oh, of course. I wouldn't miss it. Good. It'll take me a while to talk Cullen into it. Maybe I'll work the revenge angle. Oh, there I... Who's that? Did I win? <laughs> Just sitting under the keyboard. I got plus three power from that. <laughs> Love it. Oh. If you've got questions, I'm your dwarf. Tell me about Bianca. Tell me more about Bianca. Hmm. I'm not making any promises here. Ask. Why is the guild after? What makes the merchant's guild such a danger to her? Well, to be fair, it's more of a danger to me. Technically, we're not supposed to be within 300 leagues of one another. If it got back to the guild that we were seen together, they'd freeze my assets and then have me killed. Maybe not in that order. What did you do? What in the world did you do to cause that? We almost started a clan war. Does it matter? I, I can't change it now. 
How do you know Bianca? How do you know Bianca? The lady, I mean, not the crossbow. I met her years ago when she still lived in Kirkwall, and I was looking for someone with uh, mechanical skills. Bianca is, beyond a doubt, the most brilliant smith you'll ever meet. I haven't seen her since she got married and moved to Orlais. Bianca is married? Somehow I thought the two of you had a history. Bianca's family are Kalna's. Surface dwarves, so conservative they don't take a piss without asking the ancestors first. They picked out a smith cast boy for her. Wealthy, respected, has a great anvil collection. The perfect husband. I heard the wedding was lovely. The one Bianca actually showed up for, anyway. <laughs> Did Bianca make a crossbow? All right, tell me the truth. Bianca made your crossbow, didn't she? I mean, it has her name. Uh, it's not that simple. The Carta thinks my Bianca was a freak success by a Carta inventor who could never duplicate it. If they thought anyone else was involved, someone who could make one work, uh, things would be bad. So, I really can't tell the story. I don't want any more blood on my hands. Hmm. So, you've been together how long? So, how long have the two of you been together? Well, if you want to split hairs, we're not. Usually, there's a continent between us at all times. We write letters. Now and then, we manage to meet up. I don't know if that's uh, together. Shit, it's been, what, 15 years? Great. Now I feel old. Thanks. <laughs> that's all for now. I guess that's it for now. Sure. I'll be here. All right. Next person to talk to? Oh, Solus. Greetings. We'll talk later. Never mind. Bye. I guess we're going to go talk with Cole. Welcome back. All right, Cole, what do you got to say? You have here with the champion off with the wardens. There were wardens in Kirkwall, too. It started out helping, taking the fear away. I won't take too much. I am not that. Give Cole Hamlet. I found the amulet that Solus told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. All right, if Cole is sure. Are you ready, Cole? They can't make me a monster. Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Something like Cole not being a demon? Solus, is it possible that the amulet doesn't work on Cole because he's too... human? Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could knot together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering. But it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something.
There. That way. It appears we have something to find. Again. All right, kid. All right. Get Colin and work with I him on the map to figure out where you're guys. sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Sure. But that was oh, all that right. Was, I get that it. Was interesting. You like spirits, but he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. I agree, Varric. If I see a way to protect Cole without taking away whatever he is, I'll use it. But Cole clearly needs our help. I'm not saying we do nothing. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Just going straight to the thing. Okay. Yeah, this should get me through the month. But give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? I don't even know you. You forgot. You locked me in the dungeon in the spire, and you forgot, and I died in the dark. The, the spire? Cole, stop. Just take it easy, kid. He killed me. He killed me. That's why it doesn't work. He killed me, and I have to kill him back. I don't understand. If he killed you, wouldn't you be dead? Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. Hey, baby girl, how's it going? I came through to help. And I couldn't. So I became him. Cole. If Cole was an apostate, that'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying lyrium. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Solus, what do you think? Solus? We cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain Someone's that part of himself, yep. he must forgive. Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. Varric, what do you think? Varric. The kid's angry. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human. And humans change. They, they get hurt. And they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. 
I'm just helping him survive it. Before I decide anything, I need a clearer picture of what happened. It seems the real Cole was an apostate, captured and taken to the Circle by Templars. Who aren't known for their gentle nature. As the young man starved to death in a dungeon, his pain caught the attention of a spirit, likely one of compassion. Compassion? An uncommon spirit, certainly, and all too fragile when it's efforts to help spell. prove to be in vain. <clears throat> comes here, certainly I'm told too fragile when it's hmm for the guy with the earring is so right yes well it, it, this is definitely an interesting uh dilemma Cole is basically a human with a spirit inside him because the person died so the spirit took basically took him over because he tried to help but failing and he became that person so, yeah. Uh, uh, Cole, will be, Cole will become more like a spirit. The amulet should function properly. Or Cole will become human. The amulet may not be necessary. Hmm. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Cole become more human, or Cole become... Cole become human. Detroit becoming human. Holy God. Holy cow. The, go the two games just became one. What? <laughs> oh, boy. So yeah, it's either he, he it's either he becomes more of a spirit or he becomes more human. So it's the choice. What do we want? I don't know. Yeah, neither do I. Mm. Solus, buddy, I like you, but I think, yeah. More human. Cole will never grow into a real person until he comes to terms with what happened. Leave it to me. My growth sounds more important. We'll go with All that. right, kid. You want revenge? Come with me. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Sorry isn't going to help him now, is it, kid? No. Pull that the chest, though? And put him down like a mad dog. Yeah. Do it. That's very important. No! There we go. Yep. Tiberic has one. Oh, we know. The amulet will now never function. Cole remains vulnerable to binding. No, he isn't. The amulet didn't work because he's too human, right? Maybe now the kid's also too human for that binding magic to work on him. I hope you're right. It still hurts. When do I stop hurting? We'll help. Being with your friends can make you feel better. Come on, kid. Let's go for a walk. 
It'll clear your head. The left hand misses a friend with two different names. She's hurting, sad, alone, but everyone can guy has see me his... now. Yeah. They remember. That's soulless. Fun. How do I put it, honey it, in Liliana's wine the without her noticing? I can help with that. Yeah, he is a bit of a stick in the mud, though. It is good that he is not entirely changed. However human he becomes. Sweet. All right. Let's uh let's go talk with Cole again. See if there's anything else we can talk with him about. Oh. 